everyone, MR here and I have some great news for you guys. My book, Love and Other Wars, is available for digital download. You may get it at the Kindle bookstore or if you don't have that, that's okay. I can send you an EPUB or PDF copy, just let me know. Regardless, it's just 50 pesos or $1. Yes, 50 pesos for 40 English and Tagalog poems meant to warm your heart and make you feel all happy and giddy and piliggy <laughs> right inside. Also, the hard copy of the book is available through Shopee. Just type in Love and Other Wars Poetry Collection and don't worry, I'll sign it up right for you. Alright, get your copies now and let's get back to the show. Hi everyone, welcome to Mabuhay Maxima. This is MR, your host. Thank you for listening in. And for today, we are going to talk about how to build your business through your passions. With me is an author, a traveler, and an entrepreneur. She is a powerhouse with her own publishing company, her own website, and her own travel agency. Please welcome Miss Cindy Wong. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Ma'an. Uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> Glad to be here. Glad that you're here. So, how are you? Well, since the last time we talked, um, yeah, I finally arrived here in Hong Kong. I've already adjusted, completed my 14-day quarantine. And um, actually, now, ito, back to work. Back so to work. work. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, no rest for the weekend, ah? Oh, oh. Wala, wala. Ano, like, pagkagising mo... Work na agad hanggang sa magabi. So that's that's one of the mistakes I've been doing. Na dapat oh I should I should put a limit somewhere. Yeah, you should take time to rest. Maka <laughs> a COVID ang magkakandahila na sakit mo pero stress and fatigue. Let's take care of ourselves. Uh oh, uh oh, and the thing is, kasi di ba, since we're talking about uh, working on your passion, sometimes it doesn't feel like work anymore. So feeling ko naglalaro lang ako, you know, I'm I'm doing my hobbies, uh, this and that, and I'm having fun. So that's why lumilipas na lang yung buong araw na okay. Oh, I I didn't realize now oh, it's already five thirty, <laughs> something like that. Ah yeah, yeah. Ah, masarap yung feeling when you're really doing what you love. And well, speaking of passion. Tell us about that passion that you're working on, your current work. Tell us all about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, as you've introduced earlier, so I am running a self-publishing. Um, it's a small press called Eight Letters Bookstore and Publishing. It's a small um, printing press in the Philippines where we help indie authors to self-publish their works. Um, and then I also run a Coffee and Fly, which is also a podcast, but this is where we help small businesses um, to, to thrive and basically uh, start their website and proceed with all the necessary actions. And then thirdly, which is um, Exceptional Wonders, Wonders as in W-A-N-D-R-S, a lot of people mistake it as Wonders, um it's a travel agency but right now it's on hold everything's on hold Tr everything travel related is on hold so uh, but it's all good because um we've got some clients um going for a staycation so it's still good nice nice mm -hmm. well guys just to let you know my book love and other words is co-published by eight letters publishing it wouldn't be here to bring for them so Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for supporting my idea and everything and all that. Yeah, and it's an amazing book. It's It's got an amazing concept and everything. You know, and I'm also a fan of love poetry. So, <laughs> I love it. Hi, to me all. So, you mentioned that you're in Hong Kong right now. Mm -hmm. The publishing is in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. The website the blog and podcast is online and the travel agency is on hold so mm -hmm. what is that current work that you're doing right now over there um what's the current work yep okay uh what's the current work um okay so pretty much everything all together i'm juggling a lot of um a lot of things and also because under coffee and fly aside from helping um small businesses to thrive um meron din kaming mga drop shipping business and uh, 
ano ba, may mga products kami and then we'll be launching um, an e-commerce website. So, a little bit of, a little bit of this and that. So, ayun. Ang daming, ano, kailangan lang talaga you. ng time management. <laughs> ah, you told you guys she's a powerhouse. You, you have a lot on your plate now. But I'm happy for you that you are striving and you are flourishing despite everything that's going on <laughs> <laughs> yes i think it's uh well i'm an alcoholic <laughs> maybe that's the reason why <laughs> and then there's always you know a lot of ideas coming in and we want to push through with that and and so we we really put a lot of work into whatever we do um of course we've got some mistakes in the past we're in you know okay my idea na magpa pop up and then uh hindi pala namin uh, you know, we, we'll go through the process in the beginning, tapos mawawala na kami ng gana, and then wala na, ganun. So, ngayon, of course, after knowing that that will not work at all, pag, uh, you know, if you're running a business, we're right. really doing our best to stick with um, all the businesses that we're launching para maging uh, stable and then maging sustainable siya, ganun. It's a tough job. But I, I've got uh, a team working uh, with me. Nice. You mm-hmm. mentioned an interesting point, the one about mistakes. Mm-hmm. So in putting up a business, how, how do you know that what you're currently doing is already a mistake? What are the factors that present itself? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. That's a tough question. Um, but how do we know if what we're doing is a mistake? Well, basically, yeah. uh, okay, I have to rephrase myself. Um, it's not really a mistake. We don't see it as a mistake. We see it as a lesson. So if one thing doesn't work out the way we wanted it to be or not how we expect it to be, um, so we, okay, it's either kasi plan A. If, if plan A doesn't work, then there's plan B, right? right. Okay, maybe we've got a great idea, but uh you know, we have to uh, make sure that we establish a good foundation. Um, and then, then, then we'll proceed with, say, for example, small experiments. Mag-experiment, mm-hmm. experiment muna kami uh, yung hindi masyadong risky and hindi masyadong right. costly in our part. And then, okay, right. we'll, we learn along the way. And then, kung ano man yung matutunan namin, you know, we apply it onto the next plan. Right. That's how we approach it. So, can you say that plan A almost always fail because yes. it's the experimentation phase? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh-oh. Lagging failure yon. I mean, maybe you're, uh, no, you're lucky if you get it right the first time around. But, right, sabi nga right. nila, diba, wala namang overnight success. Yung mga nakikita natin na successful, um, they've been working um, on these things for a long, long time already. So, uh, yeah, so currently we're in that process. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, So I assume, given your current state, the the traveling, the book publishing, and the the helping of small businesses, that's not your plan A because it's still flourishing right now. It's still here and it's thriving, it's successful. How did you align yourself towards that direction? Okay, so we've been doing this for uh, several years already. And so, okay, I must admit that in the beginning, you know, we just put in the money and then we just put in the work, the effort. And then in the end, parang, oh, okay, uh, ano ba to? Uh, we're losing money. Hindi, hindi dapat ganito. We have to be sustainable. Mm-hmm. We have to be at least, you know, break even. So the first part was, the first part was losing money and then, um, learning the lesson, and then we get into the second part where, okay, we have to redefine, redefine the business, redefine the brand. We have to um, check our mission, vision, <laughs> philosophies in life. Right. <laughs> Para sa business na to. And so, you know, it, it was an ongoing process. And then until, you know, since, since last year um, or earlier this year, um, I've mentioned to you before that I quitted my job finally quit it mm-hmm. so that I can pursue this full time kasi nakikita na namin last year na, okay there's a there's good potential already so we've already built the momentum so we need we needed to allocate 
um, as much time as we can. And so, well, so far, naging, uh, naging sustainable naman siya. So I managed to, to quit my job na. Nice. I'm happy yeah. for you. <laughs> hindi, hindi siya ganun kadali kasi uh, kailangan talaga ng uh, matinding pagpaplano before mm-hmm. you quit your job and pursue your passion. Um, I I have a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> ano ba, introduction pa lang ba to? <laughs> no, no. Parang no. Not, not anymore. I think I don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of questions. One is you mentioned about the mission and the vision and the branding and that it's hum- somehow as you tell it, it's like you have to do that first. So Mm-mm. it's not as cliche or as cheesy as how, well, from a consumer's perspective, mm-hmm. it will be. So. Why do you have to do that first? The mission, the vision, the philosophy, and the whatnot. Okay. Um, okay, that's because, uh, well, first of all, you have to think about your audience or your targeted customers. The right. first thing you think about a business. Kasi sino naman ang mag, uh, sino naman ang bibili ng product, sino naman ang magtatangkilik ng mga services mo, di ba? None other right, than... Right your customers and your customers mm-hmm. should always be the first thing in your mind when you decide d- decide and design the business so right, right. Uh, about um so there goes the branding because you need to speak their language that's because they need to be able to understand you your brand kaya sila mm-hmm. bibili uh-huh. Uh-oh. So, yun, branding is very important. But I mean, you know, the color team, the language you're, lo- you're using, um, you know, the consistency. Uh, and Because if you're consistent, then they see you as a reliable person or business. So, yun, right. mar- maraming maraming kailangan isipin or to take into consideration. So, you have to build that connection between you, the business, and the consumer. Mm-mm-mm. Lalo na, di ba, hindi, lalo na kung from the beginning, hindi ka naman nila kilala. Mm-hmm. Diba? Right, right. Why would they give you their hard-earned money? Mm-hmm. So, ganun. So, first, you have to communicate well with them and get your ideas or the information that's clearly, um, that's clear and easily uh, na maintindihan nila. Right, right. And you mentioned ba- branding. How do you come up with the with the target market, with the color scheme, with the business language? Mm-hmm. How do you come up with all of that? Uh, well, it's a trial and error. So mm-hmm. we've tried different approaches before. Of course, first thing you need to do, make sure um, your copywriting is working. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, how do you come up with no that? Oh, diba? How do you come up with that? You think about your customers. Okay, we're going back to that, thinking about your customers again. Um, right. What I meant by that is you think about their characteristics, their age, okay. um, the, how much money can they afford, what are they doing, what are their hobbies, what are their values. Kasi, bakit natin to tatanungin? Kasi yung values nila should, should align with your values or your brand's values. Diba? Right, so, right. only when they know about your company's brand and values, only when they, they are able to resonate with it, then saka nila yon tatangkilikin. So, balik tayo dun sa first advice ko na think about your clients, your customers, kung ano ba yung, asan ba sila? Like, think about them um, geographically, um, uh, and uh, ano ba? Uh, yung, their age, their budget, ganon. Um, right. Mm-mm. Like, can you give provide for us the branding of your businesses to give us an idea of how you worked it out? Okay, so okay, I'll give you an example. Maybe I'll go with uh, Coffee and Fly. Um, Coffee right. and Fly okay. is a business where we help small businesses to to start and to thrive. Um, okay, so ang target audience ko dito are those people who are enthusiastic, who are active, those who are... Okay, um, 
okay, thinking about their age, siguro they are young and uh, like from 25 to about 40 years old. 40 years old is still young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And uh, and then uh, siguro ito yung mga tao na yes, they are thriving professionally. But um, on the side, they want to develop something else. They want to pursue their passion. They want to do something uh, or, or they want to have something that it, that's not all about their job or their um, eight-hour job or something like that. They want to pursue something of themselves. So um, I've when we're thinking about the color team, okay, so we've chosen, okay, teal, the teal color. Mm -hmm. not, not because it's my favorite, but because um, <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's, you uh, know, um, it's kind of like mature, but in a way, it's still playful. Diba? Like whimsical? Uh oh, parang whimsical, um, homey, parang ganon. Um, mm -hmm. Uh oh, but it's the color, the teal color is, um, it has a strong personality, like it has its own personality. Parang ganon. Right, right. Namin. So okay, so that's that's for the color team, and then for the name itself, coffee and fly. Again, not because I'm I am fond of coffee and fly tickets, <laughs> <laughs> but because we were thinking, okay, you know, when we're imagining the type of people who would want to pursue their business on the side, we're thinking about, okay, this particular person must be a either a coffee or a tea drinker. Because they need more caffeine. <laughs> right, right, uh -oh, right. Uh -oh. Yeah. And uh, siguro ito yung type of people na, yes, they do drink um, alcoholic drinks, but um, they drink moderately. They're well controlled of themselves, of, um, you know, uh, they have their dreams. So kailangan, ano, coffee kasi parang, it's a symbol, di ba? Symbol of, uh, ano ba? You know, when you're in parang, high school, and then, uh, okay, kailangan ko magkape kasi kailangan ko makapasa ng exam. Right, parang the symbol of productivity uh -oh. going forward. Yeah. Yes, check. That's malaking check. <laughs> and then, um, fly. Fly, it's a verb. And uh, basically, it means action. So, right. yun. Uh, we, we took those in consideration and that's how we came up with the name Coffee and Fly. Wow. Oh, di ba ang dami kailangan pag-isipan. Ikaw ba? Like, paano mo naisip na mabuhay Maxima? Oh, oh, Ipapangalan mo sa podcast as... mo. <laughs> 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 Hindi siya kasing galing ng pagka-branding nung sa <laughs> like, I was amazed behind the story of the name of Coffee and Fly. I'm like, Wow. <laughs> Oy, hindi. Ang ganda kaya ng mabuhay. Like, mabuhay itself, um, I can already think of, okay, first of all, someone arriving in the Philippines and people greeting me, mabuhay. And it means long live. And ang dami, ang daming ibig sabihin ng mabuhay. It's, it's a fab name. Perfect name for you. <laughs> um, well, mabuhay, mabuhay. Well, the first time, mabuhay because... As my listeners may know, I'm from a, I'm from the airline industry, and my specific, mm -hmm. the specific uh, airline that I work for, mm -hmm. well, likes to say that word a lot. So it's like a uh -oh. homage to the, to my line of work and the opportunities and all of the things that were granted to me by, well, being with them. So mm -hmm. I just changed it the last word to make it less. Uh, to make it a little more unique, so that's why it's mabuhay with an I. Uh, and then, uh, mm -hmm. um, well, it's a really, really, really big coincidence that my surname is Maximo, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maxima because, well, not, but I'm not gonna say not because my favorite's Harry Potter, because it's really because my favorite's Harry Potter. So in the mm -hmm. Harry Potter universe, when you you want to say a spell mm -hmm. and you want to maximize the potency of the spell, like say to the nth power, 
you add the word maxima to it. So mm-hmm. like say, um, for example, lumos. Oh my God, nerd alert. <laughs> Lu- lumos is the spell that you use that you use if you want to conjure light. Mm-hmm. Like little light from your one to lumos. If you use lumos maxima, then you don't just conjure light from your one. It will light up a whole room, a whole place, really far and wide. So mm-hmm. technically, put together mabuhay maxima um well loose loose translations live life to the fullest oh that's genius <laughs> i'm a <laughs> harry potter fan too and Woo! yeah i think it's just genius um and of course i'm uh ano ba? Um, wherever you are working in the airline industry i'm also a fan of that <laughs> yay yay <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah isn't that fascinating you know you you come up with these two words together and you know and also since your name is or your last name is maximo diba? at least people who would be interested in your work are already drawn to you because you're using your name yeah it's a really yeah. big coincidence but i don't actually believe it coincidence i believe in destiny <laughs> 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 yeah, you don't leave them I know, guessing, diba? They know it right away. Yeah, it's my look. Oh, last name Uh-oh. is almost the same, dude. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> so, more about you. Uh, you have very unique businesses. So, you have a publishing company, you have a travel agency, and you have a small business, uh, what do you call this? Small business mentorship business. Mm-hmm. Uh, Small business mentorship business. <laughs> so, <laughs> how did it start with that? Why did you not go with food? Wherein, as they would say, if you have nothing to to sell, sell food. Or mm-hmm. why did you not go to some other type of business? Why those three? Why these three? Um, okay. Yep. So, okay. First of all, I've always loved writing. So, ever since I was 10... I know I love producing, I love creating, I love the process of making something. And then, you know, seeing at the end, okay, there's a final product. And then making other people happy because it's useful for them. So that's the reason why um, I've come up with these three businesses. Something that is useful for them. Okay, yes, maybe hindi ako nagpunta sa food industry because... I didn't really have a talent sa pagluluto. I'm not good at it. <laughs> Or baking. I wish, I know, I wish I got some um, cooking skills. But then again, if you're going to pursue a business, it has to be, you know, something that you know or something that you're good at, something that you've experienced before and, you know, so that you can um, create something that's, ano ba? create something that's that's great okay it okay it doesn't have to be great at least uh, it doesn't have to be great at least it right. has to be good right, right and then you can sell it right uh, so i guess that's why i can see that like your capabilities and abilities and skills will be a major factor in determining if the product or service that you will sell to the market will be good. Because mm-hmm. like you said, how can you, uh, as you may have mentioned, how can you sell something that you know nothing about? Mm-hmm. Yep. So it has to be something that you love, that you're, that you're enjoying whenever you're doing it, but also in a way it has to challenge you as well. So, hindi naman porket alam na alam mo na yung isang bagay, di ba? It doesn't mean na, okay, everything will run smoothly. Um, right. For sure, there will be struggles. There will be challenges ahead. So, you just have to gear up. Um, you know, if you have all of these three things, you know, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll never get tired of what you're doing. <laughs> There has to be growth. And those, okay, the, because the third one is the most important thing, the challenge. It has to be challenging right. because only with challenges, you know, you're, that's the only way where you'll be able to grow or grow right, your business. Right. So right. yun, all those things <laughs> combined. So, 
Speaking of challenges, can you share with us the challenges that you have faced when you were building up these businesses? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe I can choose one business. Yeah. Siguro. Um, okay. Okay. One. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Tapos tayo sa coffee and fly. Maybe I'll choose um, exceptional wonders. Because yes, yes. You know, because the challenge is you know we're facing it currently. Okay, so I started exceptional wonders earlier this year, diba? It was before the mm -hmm. COVID time, before the COVID pandemic, and so, uh, well, it's so current. Um, the challenge is okay. Number one, hindi tayo makapag travel ngayon. It's impossible. Right, right. Oo, right. Lagi nila siya sabi. Okay, two months later, two months later, everything will be fine. But then, okay, it's still it's still the same. So it's mm -hmm. very challenging. We're very we're facing a very challenging time. Because, wow, okay, you're, you're. I was estimating that this is a good year. You know, we've got great clients confirmed uh, with with their trips confirmed. You know, going right, to right. Africa, going to South America, wow. going to Europe, and so and you know, isang pitik lang. Oh, okay. Uh, we, they can travel right now. Yeah, sayang. Ah. Oh, di ba sayang, di ba? Kaching, kaching. Sayang yung yeah. para. Sayang <laughs> yung time. But, uh, so yeah, that's that's a very big challenge. And how are we facing it right now in the travel industry is, okay, what we do is we spend our time na lang um, in learning. Learning, um, you know, uh, may mga webinars online para sa mga places na ganito, ganyan. You know, we try to make sure na yung knowledge namin pagdating sa travel, ano, hindi na-expire. So, yun. Right, yun yung right. una namin ginagawa. And then number two, we try to find other sources of um, income pagdating sa travel. So, sabi ko nga kanina, ano, yes, you can't the... travel internationally, but you can travel domestically. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, we we are pursuing staycations. Mm. Uh -oh. Like, like, um, um, like resort stay or hotel stay. Uh, dito kasi sa Hong Kong, pwede na yung mag staycations. Oh, that's good. So you're mm. catering to that. It's like you're currently a travel agency for staycations. Mm -mm. And then aside from staycations, uh, mm -hmm. we're also trying to make money from green tours. So that's explore your own backyard tours. So, you know, sometimes green Hong Kong tours. people, uh, green tours, because um, sometimes uh, Hong Kong people, they, they prefer to go outside of the country. But yes. since now, since hindi siya possible, we're promoting now uh, why not explore your own backyard na lang instead so we're organizing this kind of tours na, you know where we bring them to um, special and unique places you know, things like that within the within hong kong within hong kong isn't that the challenge for because as far as i know hong kong is a very small country yes it's a very small country but um, it still has a lot of um, outlying islands all over. Oh, I see. Uh oh, uh oh. So, maraming islands, and um, you'll be surprised to to know na maraming tao dito na hindi pa sila nakapunta uh, here and there, and and sometimes you know we've got these great clients where they're very supportive, and then they 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 would just kahit nakapunta na sila sa lugar na yon, they would just go just because they're supporting. The travel industry. Oh, mm -mm. <laughs> so no, all. <laughs> so yeah, so that's... this is how you adapt. Ang galing. Uh oh, and it's not easy, but uh, let's just see. Maybe next year would be a better year. Can Can you wake me up next year? <laughs> <laughs> me also, please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've gotta survive. Oh yeah, we can do this. Cap it mm -hmm. lang, guys. Cap it mm -mm. lang. Mm -mm. You mentioned now. You mentioned the challenges that you have faced, and earlier we mentioned about B. Well, plan A or plan B. Mm -hmm. How 
how do you know that the challenging uh, the challenges that you're currently facing is a challenge or it's already a sign for you to go to plan b oh okay <laughs> that's a tough question so <laughs> paano ba namin malalaman kung plan b na tayo okay yeah like plan b drop then make a new one you know mm-hmm. uh okay it's maybe it's more of uh, your own instinct na rin Ikita mo. Uh, kasi of course, when you're pursuing your own business, kailangan mo din talaga ng sound mind and logic. Uh-huh. Pag nakikita mo na talaga na, teka, teka, this is not gonna work. Then, plan right. B na tayo, ganyan. Or kahit nakikita mo na, na hindi pa nag-work, naka, naka-prepare na yung plan B. Or yung plan mm-hmm. C. O, lagi yung mm-hmm. prepared. You don't have to wait until you fail before you proceed with plan B. Nandun right, yung plan right, B right. to catch yung net, uh, safety net. So, l- like, you have to expect the worst. Worst comes right. to worst. I, but you have to prepare. I think nangyari na yan sa lahat. Sa maraming maraming tao. Especially when the pandemic started. Mm-hmm. The, the taking for granted of the current stable situation na hindi na nag-isip ng plan B. Mm-hmm. Tapos, kung pandemic biglang wala, you don't Uh-oh. have anything more. Siguro, that's a lesson learned for a lot of people. Na it doesn't, na it doesn't mean that your plan A is currently working. Doesn't mean that you don't need a plan B anymore. Oh, and yun yung nakita ko ng problema sa marami na right. ano ba? They they just focus on one thing. They just keep on pursuing mm-hmm. in one thing. Na hindi mo naman alam kung magiging successful ba o hindi. Why don't you, mm-hmm. Why don't you pursue one thing and then at the same time have some backup on the side right. para okay uh, kasi ko ano man yung pinapursu mo ngayon it's always 50-50 eh aha uh-huh. oo so have some backups on the side to make sure like for example at an exceptional wonders diba um it's not mm-hmm. making that much of a money so kailangan may backup ako okay may iba akong businesses like eight letters may mga my uh, coffee and fly and then there's also yung iba pang like drop shipping business ganun so you know it it gives you a good um streams of income hindi lang isang basket another okay. topic yan oh yo yes oh what you call this red your current basket oh and everything that you have accomplished since for so long already. What's your biggest personal achievement? What is my biggest, sorry? Personal achievement. Oh, personal achievement. Okay, my biggest personal achievement is not having a breakdown. Diba? Sa dami nang nangyayari. Like, kunin yes, na lang breakdown ka. That is an achievement. Yeah. Like, itong time na to, it's really breakdown worthy. Like, if you feel that you're you're a really stable person, this is the time of the, this is the time of your whole life where you can break down and no one will judge you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep, that is an achievement that you haven't done that yet. Yes, and and I'm not going to feel down, uh, feel bad if ever man mag break down ako bukas or sa mga susunod na bukas. Um, I'm just proud of myself na, okay, so far, hindi pa ako nag-breakdown. Um, but if, if it happens tomorrow, I mean, I'm still, I'm still proud of myself. Regardless. You should. You have gone so far. You really gone so far. Oh, and, okay. And, ikaw din, ha? Ikaw din, uh, you know, you've come up with this podcast and you're going to, um, republish your book or, and things like that, putting it into Amazon. You're, you're, you've come up with a lot of ideas already while we're all in quarantine and cannot travel yet. I have nothing else to do since my work is on hold. Yes, thank you. <laughs> As you already mentioned, Guys, Love and Other Wars is on Amazon right now. Just, what do you call this? The search Love and Other Wars for the collection is just they call this ah yes the, it's the, the kindle version not the hardbound version the kindle version is on amazon it's just only one dollar or 50 pesos so grab it okay grab it grab it grab it 
advertisement yes. over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Push na yan. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, and it's so, passive income, di ba? Yes, it is. Passive I income. actually got the idea when I came across your book on Amazon. And I'm like, why not putting mine on Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> Palalagay mo lang siya doon and yeah, let it work by itself. What advice can you say to, well, let's say first to those who are thinking of starting their business already but well are being held back by a lot of their own factors that can you say to them? What advice can you give? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, well, if you're having your full-time job, don't quit that yet while pursuing your <laughs> passion. Okay. Um, if you're unsure with what you're going to pursue, you know, I definitely recommend um, experiment first. Okay. Kasi, experiment, yes. yes, experiment small. Um, kasi um, sa pandemic na to, uh we have to we have to be sensible and we don't want to lose a lot of money we don't want to um ano ba? okay and tabito <laughs> we don't want to lose money and ano ba? sabi ko nga hindi naman agad nag work yung plan a so right. try mo muna like kung sino yung nakikita mong target customers mo um, contact mo muna sila and then, you know, try to get their feedback kasi kung sila rin naman yung bibili ng mga goods mo or ng services mo, you want to know as much uh, as much information about them as possible. And then, um, I think second advice would be uh, don't, don't give up your daydreams ever. Siguro, pwede kang magpahinga. <laughs> yes, pwede kang magpahinga but don't you ever quit. Yan. Hmm. I love I love that quote. Don't give up on your day. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Diba? Kasi we we have um we're uh ano ba? Paano ko ba to? We own our realities. So kung sabi na isang tao na oh you cannot do this, you cannot do that. Bakit ka naman maniniwala? Iba yung reality niya eh. So you have to right, come up right. with your with your reality na. Okay, ito lang yung mangyayaring possibility sa buhay ko and it doesn't matter what other people will say, I'm going to pursue this and yes. ganun. With a sound mind ha, kailangan logical pa rin tayo all the time. Baka naman sabihin yes, mo, okay, right. mamumundok ako. <laughs> Pag ganun, <laughs> nakatitira, ganyan, ganyan. Of course, you have to be sensible. Iba, iba pa rin yung fantasy sa, sa reality, you know. So, but at least you can make your own reality. Thank you. Those are really nice words. Thank you. I hope that helps. And you're an ah, you're an inspiration, Cindy. Like, um, honestly, ever since I published my book, so I went down down low with my writing after I published it. Then mm-hmm. when I saw a random post of yours on okay. your on your page and I was like, why am I not writing again? What is wrong with me? So boom, I started <laughs> writing again. So like your post on your page, the the motivation, the push, it's really inspiring a lot of people. I'm sure not just me. And yeah, I think you're doing a good th- a good thing here and I wish you all the best. Thank you, thank you. I, I'm doing that for myself too. Because, okay, if I'm helping other people, I'm also helping myself out. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm. So, yes, thank you. Thank you so much for having me today. Um, it it's feels so good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, please, promote yourself. Tell, tell us where we can find you. Okay. Um, so, guys... Um, thank you for listening to our podcast. Where can you find me? <laughs> um, you can find me at um, Eight Letters Bookstore and Publishing. That's the number eight letters books dot com. Eight letters books dot com. And then, if you're a small business and you want to, or at least start somewhere, 
um, check out the coffeeandfly.com coffeeandfly.com and then of course if you're if travels finally or officially okay you can also contact me um, we design luxury travel itineraries okay, it doesn't have to be all that luxury um, you can check out our website that's exceptional wonders as in w-a-n-d-e-r-s dot com that's all <laughs> Thank you, Thank Cindy. You. Guys, don't worry. I will link all of this in the description below. So, thank you so Yay. much for listening in. Yes, thank you, Cindy. Thank, thank you, you for being here. Thank you so much for listening in. And this is MR. You're listening to my boy, Maximo. With me, Cindy Wong. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.